Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try this with my um, stand. So she has the tube and I'm just going to simply cut it flush with the back here and, and a vag here. And then I will get a better angle of me feeding her. So, although you can't really see what I'm doing here, can you? Let's see. Sure. Okay. Sorry, I had some teeth work done, so I'm a little uh, weird sounding. Okay. So I'm trying to cut it without cutting her skin, and I don't want to cut it too short because I don't want it to go back in. I think I'm going to re-glue it. That's good there. And she's covered as she's a fuzz and stuff. So there, I'm going to try to re-glue it again tonight. I'm just worried that it's going to go back in her head and I won't be able to get it back out. And then let's move her up. So down here. Now these I don't want to cut too short because of it being, I want it to be flush with her. I cannot cut it. I'm not used to cutting at this angle. Uh, these scissors are real little and so they're not cutting very well but I don't want to do big scissors okay so I'm gonna have to clean these up make it flush with her skin it's still sticking out a little bit it's just I don't want to go too short and I don't want to cut her silicone anymore okay so Get her. Now we'll move this back again. Whoa, sorry. Okay, so here she is. And it's hard to see in there, but I'm not sure what you can see. In there, there's a hole. And like I said, it's horribly messy. I have to clean it up first. And for this maiden voyage, let's see, we need to do this where you can see her go pee pee. Um, there's a nice big, 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 big hole in this. And that's what I have to do to make it go out. And just for the first time, we're doing water and then I'm going to seal it better. So look down here. There we go. Oh, oh my. That's not her. I think that's the bottle itself. Because this bottle got stuffed. Oh, all right. Let's try this again. It did drip some out. Okay, so let's try this again. See, it's not, I think she's too upright. One second. She might be a little bit too upright. Yeah, see, it's not going. Was she too upright? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on because remember this is the first time I fed her. And I don't mind, it's just water. Is it just too fast, I think? Well, um I'll be back with a slower flowing bottle. Okay, let's try this again. I just I'm thinking it might be too fast. Oh, wow. It's really coming out. <laughs> Works now. Can you see this? It's just, it's a little bit too flast, I think. Um, which is, I mean, I'll just do a slower flowing. Nip, nip. Hold on. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to this camera. This is Okay, so can you see it now coming out? So it's really coming out. I just don't know how well you can see it. So it's just kind of straight leaking in. Can you see that drip, drip, dripping? So it definitely works now um, because her mouth is so much bigger than my last girl. Um, my nipples, well, let me set her up real quick and get her to finish draining out. Okay, so, sorry, my mouth is kind of, bleh. um, 
I mean, this is a huge, you can't see. Oh, it's got a massive hole. I mean, it's just, yeah, so she works. <sighs> um, she really needs a bath and I need to cut that tube a little shorter, but I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Kind of make sure everything's working a few times, make it work. And then I'll seal her up better. But she's fixing to get a bath because she's covered in everything. And, oh, okay, well, we took, we took you off. I got this outfit and it has been washed and dried at Wally World. It was about the only one that I liked there. This is a size three to six, actually. And I did that because I need the feet big enough for her. And even these feet might not be big enough. So my goal is going to be try to find some pajamas for her that don't have feet. Because she's got cave girl feet. These are probably going to be, these are going to be too small. This is a three to six and a pants are, these are going to be too small. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you have this 23 inch girl, your best bet is to invest in some cute socks and no footy PJs. Hey, I can still smile. <laughs> I had a, a root canal and then today they finished, they fixed the temporary filling, so. Sorry. Uh, I'll make another video tonight. I'm gonna try to post this one though because I think it's so much fun that she actually works. So, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of a weird angle. My phone is dead and this is the only way I can film it plugged in. So baby girl just had a bath. Uh, her drink in the wet system works. That's gonna be in the video posted just before this. And so I think I'm gonna have to change this angle because there's no way of doing it. One second. Okay, so there's no way of doing it. I'm just praying my phone does not die. So she's gonna get, hello. She still has, you know, hair. I have three dogs and they're indoor outdoor dogs. So she's gonna always have hair on her. So I'm going to put her, if I can, in this outfit. The feet are too small, but I'm hoping it'll still work. And I'm going to use this diaper again, because until I buy more, this is my favorite diaper. And we're going to do a cornstarch bath powder. Really good, really uh, thorough powder after her getting, whoa, <laughs> poof, on over the place. Let's throw some of that on her now. <laughs> okay, so. I got cornstarch all over my bed. I don't care. So we're gonna do, I do an extremely thick layer because especially the fact that I just had to touch her so much while she wasn't powdered. I just like to have that comfort knowing that I can get her really, really powdered and then She's not sticky, um, she'll have less hair on her. Oh, why did I do more? Um, mm -hmm. some of her legs, her torso has a ton on it right now. Uh, her drink and wet system works great. When she was in the tub just now, I poured water through her and it was working there too. So she's, works fine. It was a lot of work to do. It was way more work. Then I want to have my smaller baby, but it's worth it. I don't think I would ever do it for somebody else, though. It's just so much work, and it's physically painful to do it because of how much work. And I don't want to use power tools, even though I think it would make it a lot easier. I love her little lower end. Her me, her little book, but it's just the cutest little thing. And she still has hair all over her, but it's okay. We're going to always have hair on us, so get used to it, people. Get used to it, mom. We'll probably be a more accurate response there. Get used to it, mom. I'm going to put a ton of powder on her feet because these pajamas are small in the feet. So that's up there. Oh, and that's a little far. Okay. So we're going to put, let's see if we can turn her so you can see her pretty face. Hello, aunties. Okay, so I'm put her diaper back on her. Um, these are honest diapers. 
that I'm having using here. I think it's called Blossom. Uh, they're just pretty. They're what I almost bought these. I have a real, I have two, two human babies. And Honest wasn't really out when my oldest was little. And when I had my son, he used Honest for quite a while. And I almost ordered these just so that I could see them. So these are size newborn, actually, I think. Um, maybe size one at most. And I, I didn't, I don't know how to check on these. I'll probably buy her size one just because they fit a little better and they hold a little more when I feed her. I usually will not feed her more than four ounces because it just seems like anything more than that, it leaks everywhere. And because I use real formula, that means real formula is all over her and then I, start, I have to bathe her after every single feed. So her feet are definitely, what is wrong with these? A little too big, I don't know. These are stitched really weird. All right, so they're definitely too small, but because she's not gonna mind so much, and it's cute, and I watched it three times because it was bright and I didn't want to chance it. Oh my Atlanta, this is, okay. So it fits everywhere but the feet. That's good. Okay, this can go because it's covered in, covered in a, what do you call it? Powder. So I, what I do is I, Get my fingers all the way through. So they're here now through the arm. Grab her hand and I have a good grip of her hand and I kind of slowly pull it. I don't pull her her arm so much as the fabric. She just, she's big. It's hard to fit her in stuff. Like she probably would fit some three to zero to three, but if they're made thin, she won't fit them. So same thing. My hand has gone through. Grab her hand. And get it through. Because I do not want to pull on these little fingers. Oh, that arm went through a lot better. And then these ones are the ones that always confuse me. Because they start zipping the opposite direction. They try to uh, switch things up on me. Zoink. So... There's that. And down. Okay, so three to six definitely has room. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So that is my video of her getting dressed and powdered. And we'll do, she's so cute. I cannot wait to get a wig for her or to root her. And I have a box opening for our next video. Thanks for watching, guys.